Hello, and welcome to another SkyDemon tutorial video, this one covering all the weather briefing facilities available in SkyDemon Plan. As you plan your route, TAF, METAR, and other weather data is automatically obtained in the background and displayed on the map. As we plan a route, we can see that some weather icons have appeared on the map by airfields. And if we look at the weather toolbar up here, we can see that they are representing METAR. You can click the TAF button to switch to displaying TAF. The TAF and METAR icons represent the weather below 5,000 feet, which is generally considered a good ceiling for VFR operations. Therefore, an overcast of 6,000 feet will actually appear as clear sunshine on the SkyDemon map. If we look down at the en-route features window, we can see that the TAF and METAR information is also depicted here and you can actually see the various cloud layers and other weather included in the bulletins. Not all possible entries in TAF and METAR can be shown here, but it gives a great immediate impression of what the en-route conditions are like. Your TAF and METAR briefing can be printed by going to the print centre and clicking on Weather Brief. This prints the latest en route TAF and METAR along with their graphical depictions. You probably also noticed as we were plotting the route that the en route winds aloft appeared on the map as standard wind vectors. You can of course hover the mouse cursor over each feather to show more detail. So this one here shows that the wind is coming from 223 degrees at 30 knots. The wind is also used down here in the en route features window where you can see arrows in the background that represent either a headwind or a tailwind and these arrows increase in size with the wind speed. SkyDemon allows you to view the forecast up to 24 hours in the future and for any level up to 15,000 feet. To change this, click on the weather to access the weather window. This has two sliders the slider on the left controls what time you're viewing the forecast for. If I drag the slider up, the forecast goes further into the future and you can see all the wind feathers on the map start to change. This goes all the way forward to tomorrow morning. The slider on the right controls the level that you're viewing the forecast for. Dragging it up will usually show the wind speeds increasing on the main map. This doesn't affect the display in the en route features window because that window always shows the wind at all altitudes. The forecast wind is taken account of at all stages of your flight, which leads to very accurate timing and fuel burn calculations. When you go to produce a plog, you can see the average wind for each leg, which can be useful to refer to in flight. That's it for SkyDemon weather support. Tune in next time for discussion of more SkyDemon features.